and in this podcast we will talk about the lab learner science program at St. Dean School. Hello, I'm Colleen, and in this podcast we will talk about how much teachers enjoy teaching in the lab and how much students enjoy learning in it. And finally, how the lab learners hand-on experience helps students with their science grade. This is Shanene. She lives in the science lab. Shanene enjoys helping students learn stuff about science. Now, now let's get, get back, back to science. science. Lab Learner was founded in 1996 by Dr. Keith Verner. It is based on the state and national science standards. So Lab Learner helps students have fun and still learn science. Lab Learner came to our school in 2008. During then, Bishop McFadden came to our school and blessed her in a special ceremony. Since then, science has been more fun for teachers and students here at St. Peter's School. 8th grade participate in the lab. It is rich in mathematics and language art. It covers many concepts such as time, space, matter, energy, and much more. Here, fifth grade students work with simple machinery. Now, third grade students are working with the respiratory system. During Catholic Schools Week, 6th and 2nd grade work together on an experiment about energy. Here, the 4th grade worked on an experiment with balancing the pH. Here, the 5th grade work with gravity. This is the 7th grade learning about cancer cells. The third grade students received 14 eggs and were able to watch the chicks hatch in their classrooms. Ooh, pretty colors. Hi, Romero. Oh, hey, Colleen. I had a few questions for you about Lab Learner. What are they? How is Lab Learner different from using a textbook? Lab Learner, in my opinion, is different from using a textbook because you have a hands-on experience and you have students there to help you. And in a textbook, you read about the lab instead of actually doing it. And what has your favorite investigation been so far? My favorite investigation so far has to probably be space in sixth grade. Okay, thank you, Romero. Let me get back to my science. Wow, this is really cool! Hello, Connor. What's up? What's your favorite lab equipment? I like using the microscope because it's a really cool tool in the lab. I like using it in the lab because you can, it changes a small, a really small thing into a big thing when you look into the lenses. It's just a really cool tool that I like and the microscope is my favorite. Thank you, Connor. Science investigation. Our class did a science investigation about our five senses hearing, tasting, seeing, smelling, and touching. My favorite investigation was tasting. My class tasted an MM, a potato chip, a grapefruit, and a lemon. I like sweet and salty things better than bitter and sour things. Thank you, Grace. What equipment do the students enjoy using? Well, any kind of equipment, actually. Anything that has hands-on is going to make it much more interesting. Handling uh, slides or using a spectrophotometer or actually learning how to measure using all this equipment, the hot plate or even the stir mechanism that comes with it. Hands-on is just the best way to learn science because that's what science is. It's real life, which is life is hands-on. What experiments do the students enjoy the most? Well, Colleen, students, students like experiments that they can really relate to, things that they actually experience in their life. Obviously, we hear a lot of people in our families, friends that have cancer. Seventh grade recently, 
uh, worked on seeing cancer cells under a microscope. Uh, they also made these models to show how cancer cells can grow uncontrolled. They have a better understanding of what it is. So when you hear that scary word, cancer, you can understand what it is, how it grows, how it can be stopped and or possibly prevented. How does Lab Learner help students learn science concepts? Uh, Colleen, Lab Learner is great because students get to experience the concept and that's how you actually remember things by having hands-on experience. Recently, the eighth grade, for example, uh, not only knows how to read a thermometer, but they got their own blank thermometer where they had to calibrate it. They had to find the freezing point and the boiling point as well as all the markings in between. This kind of experience is invaluable. It's going to carry you well through high school as well as college and as well as a career in the future. Hands-on is the best way to learn concepts, Colleen. Okay. The Lab Learner Science Program is enjoyed by everyone at St. Pete's School. The Lab Learner Science Program is a great addition to St. Pete's School. Thanks for watching our podcast. We hope it showed you everything you need to know about Lab Learner. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.